saying today's the day Are you coming? Are you I'm sick of me? being normal, I'm sick of being average I'm sick of being mortal, I'm about to be a savage I see a lot of things that I want, I will have them I got a new mindset that I just established I'll march through the cold with the nails on the pavement I'll shovel that cold just to get out the basement My story will be told, helping others make changes I'll be so bold, they will watch in amazement Am I gonna face it? Chase it, am I gonna start over? I keep waiting, time is limited, quickly fading Give me my right, it's my time, you take it Am I gonna face it, am I gonna chase it? Am I gonna start over? I keep waiting, time is limited, quickly fading Give me my right, it's my time, you take it Hard to the metal, make a deal with the devil Channel rage through my vessel into something that is special Energy of a rebel going up, up a level I just wanna be greatness, I can feel changes Turn a new page and tie up my laces I will be the bravest, break out of my cages I will not be nameless, I will not be aimless So Spencer Alton will be bringing them together for this, our first band at SM Fight Club from the Mecca again. Kick fours in the pink corner, slightly shorter of the two just. David Carpenter in the blue with those blue shorts, black shorts for Kit. And another incredible night at the Mecca here for SM Promotions, two big main events, but this is our opener. Southpaw stance as you can see for David, orthodox for Kit, and look, step on the toes there. Oh, nice right hand through the channel from Kit as David came forward. And looking for that right regularly, he's just coming straight forward, throwing the right straight after that leg. David needs to get that southpaw jab working to get his range going and stop Kit coming in with that right hand. Also the danger with orthodox versus southpaw as they both come in is a clash of heads. There's always a danger of that. And you can see he is the slightly shorter man but it hasn't upset Kit's rhythm yet. He's the one coming forward, taking that centre ring. Aggressive start. And you heard David's corner say, don't swing, he's got to tighten up, work behind that jab, and keep Kit at range. Now he steps in, good left of the body, first good shot to the body there from David. Drops his hands, and you've got to be confident to do that when you've been clocked earlier twice with that right hand. And there's that right hand coming through the channel again from Kit. Out of range there and got caught with the jab. That's better from David, the timing. Double jab again for David now. He had the opportunity to keep Kit backed up, but he stepped away. He did the hard work, he got there. Then he stepped back off. Nice turn. He has worked his way into this round better, especially that left of the body. It was a good start from Kit, but David has grown into this opening round. That's better countering here, but he needs don't don't posture, keep him there, keep him under pressure. He might regret it if that right hand comes over again and lands cleanly. Round of two halves for me. First half, I felt Kit did very well, but David grew into that round over the course of the action. One down, two still to go.
bridge of David Carpenter's nose has been cut. I think that's probably from one of those early right hands. Let's see if it affects him in the second round, because I thought he got stronger as the round went on, but that could have an effect on him. Round two. We touch gloves for round two. And Kit takes that centre ring, looks to start fast, but there's better movement all round from David right at the start here of the second. And he's working well behind that jab. I said that left hand to the body was effective, but now he's setting it up beautifully and he's staying in the pocket. I think it's cool I spoke to him because he's more aggressive at the beginning of this second round, looking to keep Kit under pressure. Now you know Kit comes forward, he's a bit wild with that left and right. If they land, you saw the damage they can do. But I think David is dealing with it better here in the second, and he's willing to step in and stay in the pocket that bit more. So working behind that jab again, which I feel is the best tactic for him here. Good double jab and kick, giving ground. Now looking for that big right, but it's becoming a bit obvious now. Oh, and I said to you, the shot was the left to the body, and that's what landed cleanly again and gives him the count. I said that was the best shot he was throwing, but the second round, he set it up beautifully with the right hand, with that jab, then brought the left underneath. Beautifully done, and now it's a strong, strong round for the man in the blue corner. So Kip needs a big finish to this round because he's behind now with that count. And he's looking for that left of the body again, David. But it's the same thing, set it up with that jab, that strong jab, and then come underneath the kit. He needs that right hand to land, but that left this time lands to his head. It's almost like David has figured out his style, figured out his routine, and is now working him hard. It's a big round for the man in the blue corner. And there again, he's being picked off. He's swinging wildly. And that second left to the body rocked him again. It's tough times here in the second round for Kit Falls. Big, big round for David Carpenter. Corners 10 seconds. It's a third and final round, and Kit Falls needs a big round here. He's got to set up that right hand. He's got to work behind his own jab and set up because David Carpenter works around him nicely now. He moves around that right hand, right, um, left hand of Kit Force to work his own jab. And again, he waits for that right hand, steps aside, then counters. And Kit under pressure once more. And it's because David Carpenter is countering that big right hand. Throws that jab again, he needs to set up, stay in the pocket, little shimmy of the shoulders. And when you drop the guard and you ask your man to come on, sometimes it's a danger when that big right hand lands, it can undo all the good work you've done. So stay focused, keep your shape, and keep the work that got you the count. Just like that, as I said that, that's what I'm on about. Just stick to the work that does the business, and that left hand is doing the business. Is up again, he's a tough customer. But this is very difficult for him now. And David straight there, and they're saying, don't let him go. That's it, that's what they want. That left of the body. But he's got to set it up again. Bring that jab up high. Bring the guard up. Because if you don't bring the guard up, your face is hit. And then once the guard is up, you drop to the body once more. Kick for his part, he's got to set up that right hand. He's got to jab. He's got to get ready. There you go. That's what he's looking for. And he almost went once more with that left of the body. And there he goes. This could be it. Spencer calls. It's a good call from Spencer. And across the second and third round, a very good performance from David Carpenter. Take the win by TKO with those devastating lefts of the body.